You can't talk about revolvers without mentioning the legendary 357 Magnum. This thick, powerful gun has stood the test of time ever since the gangster era of the 1930s. A good 357 is a versatile and usually compact gun that will fill you with confidence and security. If you're looking for a firearm that you can pack in a bag and also take down a bore with, you've come to the right place. To assist you in making an informed decision, we've compiled a list of the top 8 357 Magnum revolvers for carry, highlighting their key features and factors to consider when choosing the ideal one for your needs. For an in-depth analysis and a comparison tool, visit our website at gunsyoucantlivewithout.com. Number 8. Taurus 605. Now we're looking at a compact conceal and carry 357 choice available from Taurus. This is Taurus 605 Protector Polymer 2.5 inch, which loads 357 Magnum cartridges. It also allows for 38 special rounds and comes in a slick blue finish. The 2.5 inches refers to the barrel length, and the overall length is 6.5 inches. This makes for a very compact revolver design that's also extremely powerful. It's powerful because it takes either 357 Magnum or 38 Special cartridges, which really pack a punch. The Taurus also has an impressive 5 round capacity for a gun of this size. Plus, it features a trigger that can be single or double action which means you can react to any threat with rapid ease. Both sights on this revolver are fixed and enable you to effectively lock on to close range targets quickly. The front sight is fiber optic, which will enhance your targeting capabilities as well. The crown and glory of this particular concealed carry revolver is its extremely lightweight polymer built frame. It weighs only 1.24 pounds, so you'll be able to carry this easily all day long without irritation. It also features clockwise cylinder rotation so that you can quickly reload the 5 round capacity and be ready to return fire very quickly. Lastly, the hammer profile on this revolver is generous and it is one of the best compact 357 revolvers for the money that we could find. Number 7. Charter Arms Mag Pug Here we're looking at another affordable revolver option. However, this one is designed to be more compact. Therefore, this is a good choice for anyone wanting a conceal and carry revolver. Although this may be quite a compact 6.5 inch full length revolver, it still has some very imposing firepower. This is because it uses the 357 we we've talked about, which can be chambered safely in more compact best 357 Magnum revolvers such as this one. Plus, knowing this is a US made firearm, you know the reliability as well as build quality will be to a very good standard. There are fixed sights on this compact Charter Arms revolver to aid you in close range targeting effectively. It also weighs a mere 1.5 pounds, making it a good choice if you need to carry your gun all day long. It also has a standard plain muzzle and the barrel length is just 2.2 inches, so you could effectively holster this gun in various concealment positions around the body. Finally, we should mention the excellent 5 round capacity that this revolver possesses. For a revolver of this size, 5 rounds is a feat of engineering that could add up in a make or break situation in the face of danger. Also, it could be just as good a choice for home defense purposes as well. Number 6. Korth Mongoose 357. Are you unfazed by the classics? It's time to move on to the opulent environment. The Korth Mongoose is a modern, high-end revolver that falls into a category on its own. With the combined effort of German's Korth Waffen and the US Nighthawk Custom, we probably got the best performing revolver up to this date. I can say right away that the Mongoose is probably the best wheeler that I've ever seen. It's truly a Rolex of guns, to put it that way. You can feel the effort that went into the frame and shrouding of the pistol. The front sight contains a gold dot that adds to the luxury. On the rear end, you'll find two adjustable sights that allow you to set up proper windage and elevation. The first time I lined up, I realized that the grip could prove problematic for a beginner. Therefore, make sure you have a firm, not too tight grip when you start shooting. I thought the power would be the equivalent of a standard compact gun. However, the three inch barrel only tells half of the story. The Mongoose packs a fairly decent punch even at a more extended range. 
There are both single lever and double lever actions that average a light trigger pull. Of course, it's all champagne and roses until we get to the price. Yes, you can find a decent used car for the same price. However, if you can afford it and you want to, it's a hell of an investment. Number five, Kiapa Firearms Rhino 40DS. The Rhino is for the lovers of the unconventional. As soon as I saw the design, I was tempted to try it out. It looks like a normal six shooter, but with a modern touch. I immediately noticed something odd about the proportions of the gun. I'm mostly used to a regular barrel position in a revolver, you know, in a straight line with the top chamber of the cylinder. However, Rhino places the barrel low, and it's not only due to aesthetics. All this means that your barrel is in line with your hand. So, well, there's no muzzle rise, and the drawback is small as your entire arm will absorb the punch. This tame recoil allows you to maneuver the gun in a much better way. Although it doesn't offer much customization, it still has a bunch of things to tweak and change. There's a variety of different grips to try, for instance. Also, the pistol has a rail for attaching accessories. That's extremely rare for a revolver. You want to attach a light? A laser? It's all possible. All in all, this is a pretty good revolver for both beginners and seasoned shooters. It's accurate, stable, and powerful. It also has one of the cooler modern designs. Number 4. Colt King Cobra Carry The King Cobra Carry closely resembles the hammer model introduced in early 2019, but with a shaved off spur and a 2 inch barrel. These changes result in excellent carrying features, making the revolver as convenient to carry as most Snubnose 38 Specials. The bobbed hammer further enhances its snag-free design. However, there are a couple of aspects to bear in mind regarding the King Cobra. Firstly, a 2-inch barrel will not provide optimal magnum performance. It won't be as powerful as a P38, but it won't be weak either. Additionally, the excess burning powder will produce a flash of flame from the muzzle. As for the hammer, the gun operates as a pure DAO, which might not be a concern if you're purchasing it for carrying purposes. Number 3. Ruger SP-101 The SP-101 was launched in 1989 as a smaller frame version of the GP-100 and is available in different calibers. Also, several barrel lengths are available for this revolver, including 2.25 inches, 3 inches, and 4.2 inches. Ruger's SP-101 is a tiny, reliable, and stylish revolver that may be used for self-defense, home defense, or both. It's highly dependable and made to last for many years. With a triple locking cylinder, the SP-101 ensures long-term reliability and accurate positioning. Despite its small size, the SP-101 fires softly. Recoil is far more controlled with its revolver's greater weight, sturdiness, and cushion grip than it would be with other snub-nosed revolvers. You'll also have the best chance of striking your target accurately if you aim at it from a close range. It comes fitted with lowered sights to lessen the possibility of catching on your garments while drawing the revolver from the concealed carry position. Each one has windage and elevation adjustable within the frame, and they are both set in place. Number 2. Smith & Wesson Performance Center Model 327 the 8-shot 357 Magnum pistol can be loaded with full moon clips or individual rounds and is packed with distinctive features from the start. The front of the pistol boasts a 2-inch stainless steel barrel enclosed in titanium, delivering impressive accuracy at 25 yards from a bench. The 327's frame showcases an even black finish on the ultralight scandium, which contrasts nicely with the dull gray of the titanium cylinder and barrel shroud. The term ultralight is no exaggeration. This pistol weighs a mere 23 ounces. Despite its large end frame, the gun is lightweight. It offers match level accuracy, although the sights are non-adjustable. The trigger and action are as smooth and light as those on a competition revolver, and the pistol has the same quick loading moon clips. The seemingly unnecessary features are what make this gun stand out. The ability to rapidly reload with full moon clips provides this pistol with the same reloading speed as an automatic and the power of 8 rounds of 357 Magnum in one package. Reloading with gloves is much easier with moon clips, and accurate shooting in a hunting situation is feasible due to the full-size grip and excellent single-action pull. Recoil is somewhat intense. I tested two Hornady 357 Magnum loads and one Hornady 38 Special variety with this gun, and the results were intriguing. 
the Hornady Custom 158GR XTP 357 load generated an average muzzle velocity of 1,098 FPS and produced a recoil I describe as alarming. The grip size is ideal for a hiking gun, but the grip material is too smooth for the power this gun can generate. I think it would be better suited with softer rubber grips or a more aggressive texture to prevent slipping under recoil. Number 1. Ruger Redhawk I'm a simple man. I see a shiny Redhawk 44 and I'm in heaven. It's one of the best looking revolvers out there. There is a reason why many brand the 44 the strongest 357 Magnum of its class. It's a classic revolver, the one you see in shoot 'em up video games and motion pictures. It's made out of high quality stainless steel with a wooden grip. Overall, it provides a sophisticated, retro aesthetic of a true American six shooter. Don't let the 5.5 inch barrel fool you, it's a bit shorter than some other revolvers, but it's still heavy with a substantial drawback and penetration. Not to mention that it's practically indestructible. If you run out of bullets in a dire situation, you can still use it as a melee weapon in self-defense. I've found the customizability of this gun to be top-notch. You can adjust the rear sights, add a ring, or mount a scope on this. Therefore, it's a pretty good choice for a hunter. Due to its size and weight, I've found it pretty accurate with mild and special rounds. It's double action, but the pressure on the trigger is pretty light and free of hiccups. Finally, I'll give you a piece of advice. I wouldn't use this Ruger with light ammo because it would defeat the purpose. Honestly, it's not the best gun to conceal and carry, and it may work better as a hunting sidearm. And with that, we've covered our top picks for the best 357 Magnum revolvers for carry. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as we always appreciate your support. Let us know in the comments section which 357 Magnum revolver for carry you plan to choose. Thank you for watching, and that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on all our future videos. Thank you.